The law of cause and effect. I want to ask myself that why are the successful people successful? My research to this question has dominated and directed my life since when I left school. My first great discovery was the Aristotelian principle of causality. Today, we call it the law of cause and effect. The Bible called it the law of sow and reap. Sir Isaac Newton called it the law of action and reaction. The law of cause and effect is the greatest law of universe and human destiny, and it underlies more than 2,000 years of advances in science and medicine. The law of cause and effect states that for every effect, there is a particular cause or causes. It states that everything happened for a reason. Science, medicine, technology, business, they are not accidents. Failure is not an accident. The law of cause and effect, in its simplest term, states that if you want to do something, first of all, study the life of the people that have done it successfully before you. Follow their footstep and you will automatically get the same result. It is not a magic, but it is a law. According to Abraham Lincoln, he said that the fact that some people have done it successfully before you, it is a proof that you can do it as well. When I was growing up, it never occurred to me that if you wanted to be good at something, you had to study it thoroughly and practice it diligently. But I had the idea that things just happen. Success, happiness, prosperity, peace, high achievement, they just occur in the course of luck and human destiny if you happen to be at the right place at the right time. Living with this idea, as the great majority do, put someone under the law of accident. And that is the reason why most people hope for their life to get better. Poor people hope for their life to get better. Average people hope for their life to get better. Everybody hope for their life to get better. There is something we call passive hope. This is bad. There is another one that is very bad. It is called happy hope. The guy is 50 years old and is broke and is still smiling. There is a Bible phrase that says, Hope long delayed makes the heart sick. It is a sickness. Let me tell you something. The future doesn't get better by hope. It gets better by plan. And nobody plans to be stupid. Nobody plans to be arrogant. Nobody plans to be poor. These are what happens when you don't have a plan. If you wish to be a medical doctor, study and practice medicine. If you wish to be a lawyer, study and practice law. If you wish to be successful, study success. If you wish to be wealthy, study wealth. If you wish to be happy, study happiness. Don't leave it to chance. Make it a study. Some people just go through the day with their finger closed. That won't do anything. You have to study what can change your economic, social, spiritual, and financial life. If you don't like it, change it. If it doesn't suit you, change it. If it doesn't please you, change it. If it is not enough, change it. I'm challenging you to do that because you can change. See, you ever have to be the same after listening to my audiobook. But this will only happen by choice. Get out and learn from the successful people. Because you will never live long if you decide to make all the mistakes alone. According to one of the greatest philosophers, Mr. Socrates, he said, Employ your time in improving yourself by other men's writing so you shall gain easily what others have worked hard for. So, in the process of learning how the successful people are successful, be mindful of your relationship, be mindful of your friends, be mindful of the group you keep, because there are some people that really want to be successful in life, but because of toxic negative energy draining people, they will never be successful in life, because this toxic relationship we compromise their energy. They will compromise their talent. They will compromise their power.
there is one new illness in psychiatric called relational illness there are some people that can make you sick they are so negative and once they get to your doorstep they begin to develop the bible says bad association corrupt good morals don't let your group destroy your greatness and it is necessary to question your relationship every single day that who should i count on and who should i count out who should i count on to motivate me to inspire me to encourage me to elevate me and who should i count out to discourage me or to destroy my greatness so once you've learned the most important thing from the successful people take every action don't wait to learn two or three thousand things that way you will end up using all the time and energy and you could end up being smart and broke at the same time there are two types of people number one the people that get satisfied before they take action number two the people that take action to get satisfied remember and don't forget that there are remember and don't forget that the longer you wait between idea and execution the more excuses your mind will generate when i was about to start my career in public speaking i have a lot of people in my life that told me that Slimon, it is not time for you to show yourself as a public speaker because you don't have enough idea you don't have the experience you don't have the knowledge you don't have the boldness you don't have the charisma you don't have the confidence now listen to me because you talk too much you don't have to be great before you start you need to start to be great you don't have to be good at something before you take action you need to take action to be an expert my time your time my resources your resources they are both limited if you let your learning lead to knowledge you become a fool but if you let your learning lead to action you become wealthy i strongly believe that the fastest way to be successful in life is to study the life of the people that have done it successfully before you follow the footsteps of the fortunate so you shall be fortunate don't try to be like a gambler that keep hoping with no end the future doesn't get better by hope the future doesn't get better by wishing it get better by making it a cause to study the future doesn't get better by praying but it get better by action because prayer with no action is just an exercise god bless you